Right guys, just to add this into the video that I was doing on the calves earlier on, um, you see me going off with the trailer and then coming back, but there was a small bit of a delay. You know, there was it was nearly two minutes in between. So I just wanted to add this in here, um, just because we didn't get any video of the actual calves being loaded. Finally got our delivery of calves. Six Hereford heifers, three red white heads, three black white heads. Seem to be quite happy with their new spot. All right guys, so we're back now this morning. The calves arrived yesterday evening. Um, we held off giving them milk yesterday evening, I think, because um, when they were coming off the trailer, the first thing they were kind of inclined to do was lie down and sort of cower away into the corners of the shed, which would lead me to believe that you know, they've had a long enough day, their stomachs might have been a small bit upset. So we kind of let them be, we gave them a bit of dry roughage, a small bit of hay, a small bit of crunch. Um, just to sort of kind of bind them up in case we gave them a load of milk yesterday evening the first thing that might happen is with their stomachs being nervous it might have just ran through them and would have caused them to scour and we didn't, definitely didn't want that to happen because it would cause the calves getting sick it would cause them to dehydrate and then they would turn weak and not get up so we're here with the first feed this morning and i'm going to show you exactly what we're going to be giving our calves over the period of the next 10 weeks we're going to be getting two feeds Two feeds a day so they're going to get two and a half liters in the morning two and a half liters in the afternoon and i'll show you we're giving our calves this year nutris nutristar plus calf milk replacer this is what we have been giving our calves every year since this has came on the market we're feeding calves now for as long as i can remember since i was a young fella um here on the farm my father always used to use uh, a product called maverick and then we changed over to this in about i think 2012 and we've been using it ever since. Um, it has the extra, extra bit of protein in the yogurt for them, and it helps the calves, I think, thrive on a small bit better. So we mix it at 150 grams per liter. Um, so yeah, we just use, we have a hot water geezer. It doesn't take too long to fill up the water. And it comes out as good and hot. So we just normally heat the milk to around 60 degrees. And then we weigh out our powder. And then we add it into our big bucket. Water first, powder second, and then I have a drill then with a whisk on it. Simple as you like. In, give it a whisk for a couple of minutes, make sure that the, the powder is all mixed up and it turns into that nice little yogurty substance. And then we bring it around and we tip it into our 60 feeder. And hopefully all our calves will get on, get on the feeder without having to be coaxed into it. So we'll, I'll come back to you in a few minutes when we're ready to, uh, Pop our blue feeder on, and uh, hopefully they'll just get in on it then. There'll be no issues then, and they all sort of are even enough when they're sucking out of the teeth feeder rather than, you know, sometimes you might have a weak one, and you might have to stand beside them until they get their fair share. Hopefully we won't have that issue, because they're all sort of an even bunch. So, look, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, hopefully we won't have no trouble. Thank you. 
Hold on, let me stop first. Here's your leg. Not too bad. I seem to know what the blue feeder is. So we've just finished up here. We had one slow drinker out of the whole bunch of six. Uh, one of the black white heads. But he wasn't too bad. It just took him a small bit longer to get through the blue feeder than the rest of them. Look what it is, what it is. He will get stronger, or she will get stronger. It's just, they just have to get used. It's probably just different areas, different surroundings. They're still a bit nervous. I just had a quick look around the pin there just this morning just to see um, was there anything that I need to be worried about. There's a few watery poos here and there, but I don't think it's anything to be worried about just yet. We'll keep an eye on it. Um, just on giving them extra bits of pieces giving them to feed. in a small little four foot trough with a small bit of calf crunch in it just to help them bind up their stomachs and they're on dry roughage as well. They're getting a bit of hay as well they, they, they don't need a whole pile of solid food anyway at this age it's they're mostly just still dependent on the milk but they like to as soon as they start getting in on this they'll eat some amount of it as well that's this video done for now um i hope you enjoyed if you have watched it or if anyone has watched it you might just give it a thumbs up and if you subscribe to farmer scoobs on youtube you get a weekly update or a video every couple of days as i'm making them it's kind of hard just to piece together because i'm only just starting off but I'm hoping to be picking up things along the way that will make the videos a small bit more interesting. Thanks very much. You should have the bacons on. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a necessity.